Let's take a quick look at artwork. Some things will reproduce well in screen printing, and some things won't. Take a look at this image. This is a company logo. Like a lot of logos out there, whether it's downloaded from the internet or copied from a uh, scanner into your computer, the image is well distorted and with the edges will never print well. If we blow it up even further, you could even see it distort more. This is definitely not the type of artwork that will reproduce well in screen printing. For us to use this logo, we would have to reproduce the whole thing. Now, if there's text in the logo, the first thing we do to reproduce the logo is find the correct font. It's pretty easily matched with our font library, which has almost every font out there. Once you choose the right font that closely matches your logo, you can then bring your low resolution artwork into Illustrator what I like to do is lower the opacity in the background and create a new layer on top of it so I could trace the drawing. There are several tools you could use in Illustrator, shapes, a pen tool to get the exact dimensions of your logo, to trace every outline and every characteristic of it. I'm not going to go into detail here how to use Illustrator, but basically using the tools available, you can reproduce any piece of graphic. Here's the finished product. You can see the logo was reproduced, the colors were reproduced. And the thing about this is, now that it's a vector image, this could be enlarged as much as possible without losing any clarity. This is gonna give me a very sharp piece of positive film to work with, which will make a good screen. The better the artwork, the better the screen, it's going to reproduce well on the shirt. 